So if you are a fan of the note of vetiver, how classy, CEO-like, and really prestigious it comes across, I have a feeling I have a fragrance here that you're going to really, really enjoy. This one by Jacques Fath is called Le Loden. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on it, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin today's video on Le Loden by Jacques Fath and I tell you all about this fragrance, the smell, the performance, the versatility, comparisons, so on and so forth, I do want to start things off by mentioning that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a future video to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you take something of value from today's episode. Now, when it comes to vetiver-based fragrances, you have some that are certainly on the clean side of things, something like a Mugler Cologne by Thierry Mugler. Then you also have some really dark vetiver fragrances like Fumidus by Profumum Roma. I kind of remember that having vetiver in it. And then of course, there's also Sycamore by Chanel and Ancre Noir by Lalique. So here we have arguably one of the best vetiver fragrances on the market. This fragrance actually has three types of vetiver, Haitian vetiver, bourbon vetiver, and Java vetiver oil. So it's a combination of three different types of vetiver that give you a very diverse olfactive profile. Now the perfumer for this is Luca Maffei and he has done so many fragrances for Ferragamo and this brand and a ton of other brands, Tresardi being another one. And so with this fragrance in particular, you also have this spicy ginger note in the opening, a little bit of pink pepper, you have some woods in the base, but it's really the vetiver that shines in this fragrance. This is through and through a vetiver based composition. I'm very excited to give you my detailed thoughts on the smell. Let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So this fragrance opens up with a punch of vetiver, as if you didn't already expect that with the last two minutes of me kind of going on and on about how this is a vetiver-based perfume, right? But no, surely enough, it opens up with a whole lot of vetiver, and it's a very full, rich, and thick type of a vetiver ingredient that I do have to say does lean on the rough and tumble, rugged and aggressive side of things. Now here's the interesting part. I think of fragrances like Ancre Noir as being kind of on the darker side of things. And Ancre Noir has this ink accord in it. There's nothing in here that smells inky, but it does have an earthy texture to it. And I would say the darkness is established through the vetiver alone. Because when you take a look at some of the other ingredients, the pink pepper, the ginger, these are ingredients that seem to kind of brighten up the composition or kind of sublimate the effects of the vetiver as the perfumer himself said. So he was kind of inspired by his grandfather's Loden, uh, which is a type of overcoat. And it definitely gives this very classy and professional, you know, this sort of repose about it, this old school demeanor that I think is really nice, really classy, very elegant. And so there's kind of that vibe that is established here, but it's definitely a vetiver that is on the professional side of things. And so although it might not be a squeaky clean type of a vetiver like Mugler Cologne, it's definitely on the professional like CEO boss type of um, personality. You think of fragrances like Grey Vetiver by Tom Ford, Guerlain Vetiver by Roja Parfum being another one. There's so many really clean cut, professional vetiver fragrances. And even though there's a certain earthiness and there's a certain darkness that is established through this fragrance, I still think that there's an element of class and refinement that is attached to the overall smell. However, keep in mind in terms of the overall vibe that it's going to convey, it's definitely more so on the side of Sycamore by Chanel. And so it's kind of on that kind of a vetiver side as opposed to the cleaner varieties. Now it does get a little woodsy in the base. The spiciness from the ginger is there, but the ginger allows the composition to inherit this spicy brightness in the opening that is also perhaps established through the use of some citrus ingredients, not many of which are actually listed in the note breakdown because it is really all about the vetiver. The diverse aromas and the personality of this fragrance is really something special. And the more I smell it, 
the more I'm just reminded of this gentleman that possesses a ton of class and a ton of refinement. And I think this is going to be, I know this is going to be a vetiver lover's dream. So if you're a fan of fragrances like Sycamore by Chanel, Vetiver by Guerlain, Vetiver by Roja Parfum, this is one that you absolutely must try. Even Private Label by Jovoy, this is definitely a fragrance for the vetiver lovers out there. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is a fairly unique fragrance given the comparisons that I already made. Now, when you do a side-by-side -side with fragrances like Ancre Noir by Lalique or Sycamore by Chanel, that juxtaposition reveals how different these fragrances actually are from one another. And so neither one of these fragrances is a carbon copy of the other. They all sort of possess their own unique personality, but they can kind of be worn for the same scenarios, the same occasions, and by the same types of people. I think that if you enjoy that DNA, you're probably going to enjoy the DNA of all three of those fragrances. In terms of the longevity, you can expect eight hours on your skin. Projection was also great for the first hour and a half of application. It never radiated beyond an arm's length, but I would say within an arm's length for like about an hour, hour and a half. And then it didn't start to sit at an elbow's length distance until that five to six hour mark. But right at that eight hour mark is really when it disappeared. This is a base heavy fragrance especially given the fact that it has multiple varieties of vetiver in it. In terms of the versatility, I think this one can be worn all year round. Uh, the reason I chose to review it now is because it is springtime and whenever I think of vetiver, I do think of the spring. So I think it would be perfect for this spring. However, it's not too heavy that you can't wear it in the summer and it's also not too bright or too fresh that you can't wear it in the winter. So I think this is an all year round fragrance that is really going to shine in the spring and in the autumn in those intermediary seasons. This will probably appeal to somebody who's a little bit older, a little bit more mature and professional, probably has a little bit more experience dealing with niche fragrances as opposed to somebody in their teens or early 20s or something like that. I do think it leans a little bit traditionally masculine, but if you like the way it smells, by all means, wear what you love, um, wear fragrances and enjoy them without restrictions. And I can definitely see this being worn formally as opposed to casually because it does possess a certain dark and sophisticated personality. In terms of the presentation, I do like the color of the liquid and the name is also pretty cool. I've never personally owned a Loden, which is a type of overcoat, but I definitely see the concept there. And I just think this is a solid vetiver fragrance. So my final verdict on this fragrance is, if you are a fan of the note of vetiver, you like fragrances like Ancre Noir or Sycamore, but you want something that is a very richly textured vetiver fragrance utilizing multiple different vetiver raw materials, you have to try Le Loden. A lot of natural ingredients in this as well. I'm very impressed and this is definitely a fragrance that I can see myself wearing during formal occasions. It's my cousin's birthday in a couple of weeks, so perhaps I'll wear it on that day. Probably the next formal occasion I'll be attending this month. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed my review of Le Loden by Jacques Fath, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you took something of value from today's episode, it would really mean a lot to me. Thanks again for watching. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.